What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today I promise is going to be one of the most impactful videos, especially if you came to this video because you yourself are looking to make a transformation. What is it about transformation videos? We actually put one up of Jesse not too long ago and a lot of people watch it and thank you, there's a lot of support for Jesse in that video. But there's something about transformations and I want to get to the truth behind it and here's how this all started. There's a story behind this. I'm a WWE fan, as you guys know. I, I watch wrestling. I grew up watching wrestling. It's right here in my backyard. I actually have trained WWE wrestlers. And the fact is, there's a wrestler by the name of Jinder Mahal who is kind of being talked about at the moment. This is Jinder Mahal a while back, okay, probably a couple years ago. And he was known as being one of the guys that just lost to everybody. And, um, you know, that was his role, was just basically to lose. And now Jinder Mahal looks quite different. That's him now. That is a hell of a transformation. Now, I know what you're already thinking. Believe me, I know what you're thinking. I know how he got here. I know what he did. I know what he used. But this is what I want to say when I talk about the truth behind the transformations. Because regardless of whatever you think he used here, did or did not, I don't know because I didn't train this guy, I can tell you there was something else that sparked this transformation. This change was made because something sparked a transformation, a desire to transform in him, and that is what you need to do. And behind every single transformation, including Jesse's, as I'll talk about here in a second, you have to identify what it is. And here's, I'm gonna tell you how to do this. You're gonna walk today, after this video's over, go into a quiet room, go right up to the mirror. And you're gonna have a little conversation with that person in the mirror. And you're gonna identify what it is that you really don't like about yourself because at the root of every transformation there's something that you wish for you're wishing for more you want to improve but it has to be something that you genuinely truly desire and that you really want that to happen and what happens are in the case of this guy here he disappeared he got thrown out of the WWE he wasn't used anymore he was pretty much not really someone that they they, they used in any of their matches so he got fired he desired to change that, so he focused for the first time on trying to improve himself. And a lot of that, I'm sure, was in improving his body, because in the WWE, your body is basically your calling card. It's a big part of whether or not people cheer for you or they don't. So he decided to get dedicated and, in the process, made this transformation. And go guess what happened, too? He went from probably being a guy that was paid very, very little to a guy who's being paid a lot more now as a champion in the WWE, currently a champion. So now, what happens though when you make that change, when you decide, in Jesse's case, he had low self-confidence. And you guys could see it. We knew when we watched the videos, you could see the way he either stared a hole at you in the camera because he didn't know where else to look, or he kind of looked down, he didn't know where to look. He's become much more comfortable on camera because he's become much more confident. The self-confidence came because he identified that he needed to improve. He felt skinny. He felt like everybody always looked at him. He felt like people thought that he looked too thin especially to be working at a fitness company. So he decided to change that, and he truly decided, I want to change that, and he started working towards that. And then guess what happened? As he did, he finds now that he makes a lot better food choices. He's not eating gummy bears anymore. He, when he goes out with his buddies, he doesn't drink nearly as much as he used to anymore. He's, he's actually, he stays here till 8.30 at night. When the day's over, I give him the opportunity to work out here and be paid to work out as part of his job. I know that's going to make a lot of people pissed off when they see that. He has the opportunity to get paid to work out here while he's here. And a lot of times he doesn't because he works throughout the whole day. He'll stay here after and leave at like 8.30 at night. Where did that dedication come from? That dedication came from the fact that he actually finally identified that that is more important. Reaching that goal is more important and it becomes self-fulfilling. So here's the next part. If we look at some of the things that Jinder Mahal did, as we used him as an example here, these are some of the quotes he had in an interview with Fox Sports. I was eating junk food every day, drinking too much, and I weighed 260 pounds, real soft. Now, God, let's just take note here, 260 pounds, he was never a small guy, okay, never. He was able to sort of, obviously, add some muscle to his frame, cut down, at the same point, he was working with a pretty good body to begin with. No drinking in over a year. Holy shit, how did that happen? I'm sure in his profession there was some drinking going on. The fact is, he started to see results. As he started to see results and his body changed and now he's getting more and more opportunities in his career. 
This is starting to become a lot easier, as it is for Jesse too, and as it will be for you. Things that sort of mattered before and became central to how you lived your life will all of a sudden become a lot easier to conquer because you are getting results and seeing results. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The hardest thing, the thing that stops most people is the start. If you can start, and you start by identifying what it is that's important to you, then you're off and running. Here, he subscribed to a meal prep service at, and ate only what was prepared for him five to six times per day. Now again, he has the access to a meal prep service. I never say, that's not, that's not a requirement, guys. We've had plenty of people transform them, so, uh, themselves on our programs without a meal prep service. You can do it very easily. But the fact is, he stuck to what he was supposed to be eating because he knew he had a goal and he stayed focused on it. He hasn't had a cheat meal in months. Now we've had this discussion come up before, and again, that's not necessary. So you could you could you could be at 90% uh, accuracy with what you eat in terms of eating healthy versus not so great, and still look great. Get yourself all the way down under 10% body fat and look phenomenal. It's not necessary, but the fact is, that's what he's been able to do because he's seen the rewards of his commitment. You can do the same thing. He hasn't even been tempted because he's more motivated, more motivated by his results. That's what I'm promising you here if you look behind your transformation goals and what it is you're truly trying to achieve. His dedication after winning the world title, no cheating. I had chicken rice and I was back in the morning in the gym the next day early in the morning. A lot of guys would probably be out partying. But this, he's so locked in. People ask me, Jeff, how could you eat carrot cake once a year? Because it's not a problem for me. I'm locked in. I don't feel like I'm tempted for that. I reward myself with good food, which I actually enjoy, so I never feel like I'm reaching for cheat meals, because I always feel like I'm having a cheat meal. I actually like what I'm eating. He worked, working out is not hard, you just have to make it a priority. And finally, he said, the first thing I do when I wake up in a hotel is I head to the gym and do 20 to 45 minutes of fasted cardio. I train six days a week. Again, think about it. This is a, quite a commitment. He, I'm not saying that this is even necessary to make the transformation he has. The fact is, He's willing to do some things that he probably never thought he'd be able to do. And I know Jesse's doing some things that he never thought he'd be able to do. The damn gummy bears are probably calling his name and he still says, I am not listening to you. You can do the same thing. The truth behind any body transformation, the reason why you're watching this video or any video at all about body transformations is that there's something that you need to get honest with yourself about and you need to do it today. And you need to stop looking for excuses and you can't start yelling at this guy and say, but I know why he made his transformation because he just used this or that. That's bullshit, guys. Don't discount what he's been able to do. The most important thing he was able to do, the most important thing was identify what it was that he was following, what he was, he was chasing after. And when he did that and started to see results from his work, that's what became self-motivating. And the same thing for anybody else following any goal. They have a reason why they're doing it. And I'll leave this video with one final point for you guys. I've made changes, even here, in front of your very eyes over the last couple years. And the fact of the matter is, I can pinpoint the day. I can pinpoint the day it happened. I have twin sons, as you guys know. They were born premature. They were born three months early, which is a, they were at one pound three ounces and one pound ten ounces. I'm happy to say today, these kids are healthy and they're 25 pounds. And they're little, they're, one of them's already got abs, for crying out loud. The fact is, when they were born, the day they were born, when I came home the next day and they were still in the hospital, they stayed there for three and six months. I found a whole new purpose in my life for training because I'm not a young dad. I'm 42 years old. When they're 10 looking to throw a football around and I'm going to be 52, my goal was I, I don't want to just exist and be the old dad at the playground. I want to be the guy who could do anything they want to do for as long as they want me to. I want to be around to do that. I found a whole new dedication in my training that has allowed me to train my ass off and train harder than I ever have before. And I have been so focused on that goal that it is simple for me to do. And the carrot cake, if I didn't have to have it even once a year, I wouldn't even have it once a year. It's very easy for me to do that. Find your purpose, guys. That will be the truth behind your transformation and every single other one that you follow. There is a reason for it. If you find that reason, you too will, be, will get to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Guys, I hope you found this video above all else to be truthful, because it is. It's what you need to hear. And the fact of the matter is, there are plenty of transformations that could be made. There are plenty of transformations that have been made using our AthleanX training program because I don't bullshit you. I give you exactly what you need to do and I give you that kick in the ass when needed to make sure that you get what you need to out of those programs.
but it requires that you're going to show up every day and do the things you know you need to do in order to get those results. All of our programs are over at athletenext.com. If you can find the right one for you by using the program selector link in the link below this video, it will find the program that's best suited to your current goals. In the meantime, if you like the video, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover here in future videos, and I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. See ya.